Oh my god, what is this performance? I have never seen Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu running at 250 plus FPS. Hey, what's up guys, it's Atrix here. And finally, after a few months, we have a brand new update of Skyline Enhanced Infinity Emulator. As you know, this is an forked version of Skyline Emulator with additional settings as well as customized theme, including improved performance in few games. But as you can see right here is the version 1.1.1, the latest update released by the main developer of this emulator. You can go and follow him on Instagram. But anyways, let's just go ahead and open this brand new update of Skyline Enhanced Infinity. As you see right here, it is the version 1.1.1. By the way, before you try out this brand new version of Skyline Enhanced Infinity, make sure to uninstall the previous build of this emulator or else you might get app not installed issue. If you are still getting app not installed issue, then make sure to uninstall the previous builds of Skyline Emulator as well, Skyline Edge as well as normal Skyline because the package name might differ. Before moving forward, let's take a look at the changelog. As you see, there have been lot of changes made which are all internal and there should be some amount of performance boost as well. Android 14 support has also been added in this brand new update. Anyways, what are we waiting for? Let's start with the best settings for Skyline Enhanced Infinity and we'll test out one of our favorite games which is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. For that, first of all, make sure to disable Dock Mode because Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu doesn't work with Dock Mode enabled. Let's enable Show Performance Statistics Aspect Ratio should be uh, Device Aspect Ratio. Once that has been done, make sure to add the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno Driver Revision 16 in terms of GPU driver. So right here as you guys can see, this is the latest driver which was released just few days ago. Make sure to use it for the best amount of performance. Executor slot count scale only goes all the way up to 6 and uh, executor flush threshold make sure to keep it as default. Make sure to also enable disable frame throttling option if you want to get more than 30 FPS while emulating games on Skyline Enhanced Infinity. Make sure to enable force maximum GPU clocks, pre guest texture memory, fast GPU readback and writes. Once that has been done, we should be all set. If you just go ahead and hold your game, uh, the one thing which I noticed is that different color palettes has been used. For example, this is more pinkish, this is more purplish, which is a nice little touch. I do like a uh, customized theme to be honest because it's always good to see something new in these brand new versions. Anyways, let's just go ahead and open Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and see how well does this game perform in the brand new update of Skyline and infinity emulator but uh, i forgot to add the save file so let me just go ahead and do that now all right guys we are back i have just added a save file and at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting more than 100 fps while emulating pokemon let's go pikachu on android so oh my god what is this bro guys this is actually next level performance i have never seen pokemon let's go pikachu running at 250 plus fps what the actual heck man like this is unbelievable I think our devices have just gotten so much better in terms of Nintendo Switch emulation but I am pretty sure that once we exit the house the FPS should be a bit down. Let me predict the FPS that we'll get after we exit the house. I think it will be around 60 to 80 FPS. Let me know in the comment section down below for your predictions as well. Let's leave the house. Alright, that's not bad. We are getting more than 100 FPS while emulating Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Even in outside world scenarios, just take a look at this. It is all 3D and literally there are no frame drops. At the top left corner, you will also be able to see that the RAM usage is pretty low. So in my opinion guys, if you want the best amount of performance possible, hands down, go with Skyline Enhanced Infinity Emulator. But if you want stability, then you'll have to prefer Yuzu Android. Anyways, like you can see right here, 90 to 100 FPS all the time uh, during open world scenarios which is even greater than the previous builds of Skyline Enhanced Infinity, that much I can assure you guys. Previously, you used to only get around uh, 50 to 70 FPS but after this brand new update, the performance has been improved by quite a lot. So let's go outside and explore more of these open world scenarios and yeah the game is also looking absolutely fantastic like you can see with the moving shadows everything is being rendered properly and this is pinnacle of best performing Nintendo Switch emulator on Android. Even Yuzu Android cannot come close to this forget about AGNS. After this brand new update this emulator is 100% worth it so be sure to give it a try and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching. Goodbye.